this is Mario with MIA Microflight and this is an electric go-kart that I put together rather quickly in about uh, I think it was one night it took for the frame another night for taking apart the uh, hoverboard this was a defective hoverboard as you can see it's got the original uh, base uh, plates so I decided to reuse that if you've seen uh, some of these hoverboards uh, the aftermarket uh, go-kart external assemblies that are attached to the um, hoverboards it's kind of a similar situation except that this is a full go-kart meaning it's got steering that steers the front wheels and this is uh, rather unique because I used perforated uh, tubing the only thing with this tubing is that uh, I had to bolt uh, these sections here I had to cut this bend it bolt it here and I had to make these brackets out of the same tubing this is telescopic tubing by the way and this tubing right here one one and a quarter square tubing and this is one and a half square tubing that's why this fits nicely over that one like that with just a bolt here and so I did this because I don't have welding equipment so I decided just to bolt it on rather quickly and it went pretty fast this is just a piece of um, uh, conduit uh, that I had I just bent it and kind of rigged it in this way here just to get an idea uh, of what this would uh, do motors it's a very quick and, and dirty setup here but it works uh, extremely yeah. well it's been uh, the most time on the electrical uh, connections here and as you can see these are um, uh, hobby uh, XT60s and XT30 connectors here that I use to connect uh, my batteries these are the batteries the original batteries that uh, came with the hoverboard of course I'm only using a uh, 10 of these batteries um, in series to get um, to get the 40 volt that uh, these things are driven by uh, these operate at 36 volts but uh, the batteries that are supplied with these hoverboards are uh, 21 uh, volts per, per per 10 cells in parallel times 2 that would make up a 42 volts so that's how this runs and this is how I have this set up here uh, in um, basically in series to give me the 42 volts that is required by this the only things that I'm only I only have capacity here for 2.2 uh, amps uh, amp hour capacity versus if I had the full pack um, it would run at a 4.4 amp hour capacity so um, I mean I could do that but I still have to uh, take the other cells that I took um, apart I would have to charge them individually just to boost up that voltage because they were very low on the original hoverboard that I got you know, uh, really inexpensive and so I would have to make uh, new packs but it's running just fine like that and I get about maybe a half hour runtime on these two cells believe it or not it's just amazing the technology that we have these days you know with these um, uh, 18650 cells I think these are Samsung cells the good thing is that this pack was uh, all Samsung uh, all the same it was a, a, a well built pack but I took it apart just to charge the cells individually so that I can boost up uh, the, the voltage so that I can balance charge them later on on a proper balance charger and that's the reason why these um, leads are also here this is a five cell pack and so it's got the balancing uh, connector as well attached to this and you can see the specs are marked right on the battery here right there and so that's how I'm running this uh, this little uh, go-kart here um, the throttle is uh, when you're a standard the throttle that you can buy it is uh, from Amazon it's got a display here that uh, displays the, the voltage as you can see I'm at 7.5 which is I, I, I decided to quit because I don't want to drain the battery too low so that I can recharge them easily otherwise I have two cells up so um, after about a half hour run between me, me and my son, we were kind of running this in my, in our, my backyard here. Good thing is I have plenty of space here that I can run this uh, uh, rather comfortably and, and fun, and it's, and it's pretty flat. The skateboard, or not skateboard, but these scooter wheels are 120 millimeters in diameter. They were brand new when I put them on, and they're showing a little bit of signs of uh, wear here on the surface because I've been running this uh, uh, about three days uh, consecutively just to test the, uh, the, the frame and, and to test the power of the motors here. These are brushless motors 
embedded into each of the, the, these wheel hubs. So it's a self-contained unit, which makes it for a, a nice, nice setup, very clean setup. The, uh, okay, so this has uh, the uh, key start. Uh, this will not operate without the key being on. And it's got these wires here. These wires are uh, kind of loose right now because they uh, are to be attached to a, um, a button or a switch. They will activate the brake. Now the brake on this system is nothing more than it shuts off the motor so don't continually uh, keep running with them but it does not have a mechanical brake which is something that you need with the speed that these things go at at maximum speed picks up speed and the fact that these are uh, scooter wheels very very smooth spinning it, it, it's very fluid you know when, when, when you cut out of this will keep going so th if you build up momentum with this it'll just keep going you know for, for a little bit so there's nothing more than just a pad here that I put on top of this board just to um, allow me to sit there comfortably. And the thing you got to want is that you don't want to put the, the weight too back the uh, on the wheel also because you will flip. <laughs> it happened to me, you know, I, I, I flipped it with this on, on an incline going up. And so you just got to be careful with that. So the distribution of the weight has to be a little bit further back. These um, telescopic tubings, they come in 30 inches. Unfortunately, they don't make brackets to fit this one inch center line to center line uh, increments here, and that's the reason why I had to make my own brackets here. These brackets here, and I had to basically fold this, and that's why you don't see this matching here, is because I mean, I could have cut a little bit higher, but then this would have had a, a gap here, so I just cut it so it, enough that it will, would allow me to do this connection here, bolt directly in center line with these other holes. So that's the only th bad thing about these uh, telescopic um, uh, square tubing is that they don't make brackets that fit the one inch increments in whole distance center line to center line. Uh, the steering here, before I go back to the, go back to the explaining the underside of the uh, hoverboard there, uh, mechanics, the, this is, um, again, this is a, a um, what is this called? Uh, Conduit, electrical conduit. This is a three-quarter inch electrical conduit. Fiberglass uh, reinforced um, PVC PVC pipe or, or PVC tubing. So I took the tubing. It just so happens that it, f it fits right inside there. I drill holes through there, and it's tied with these uh, bolts here. They don't have nuts because, like I said, it's uh, this is a tight setup right here, and it's been holding on very well like that but eventually I'm going to change this and put a proper uh, steering uh, mechanics here and this was just to quickly test uh, the concept uh, same thing here and this is how I'm doing my ball joints here this will have ball, ball joints uh, eventually you can see the PVC tubing fiberglass reinforced PVC tubing that is that is uh, um, drilled at, at, um, at this point here so that it, it connects with the conduit and there's another hole there that is drilled so that it'll pivot on this bolt here. Uh, once again this is something else that I had to make because I was hoping to find some brackets that I could uh, manufacture these um, axle holders but since I didn't I just took the uh, one and a half uh, square tubing and decided to cut the side here and do uh, these uh, axle holders and steering um, um, this way. I mean it works very well uh, but it's not something that I would uh, want to keep uh, uh, you know um, on a permanent basis. It's great for testing the, the constant. I, I will keep these because th these do work but these I'm going to change with uh, two ball links and this will also have a, a better steering um, uh, shaft or, or steering uh, column. This right here is a, a piece of del ring that I had and, just to provide a little more smoothness here in the in the uh, uh, almost like a a, a a plastic bearing for this tooth so that uh, it doesn't wear out the metal to metal so I don't want to go metal to metal here so that's what that is just a block of delrin which is uh, self lubricating and it works great for stuff like this it's just a I stop a bolt that I put here for or stop the screw to prevent this from collapsing downward and this is a piece of um, aluminum uh, hex uh, stock that I had from another project. Uh, I think this was from an uh, injection molding machine that I originally did many, many years ago. 
and I decided to remove the uh, the heater plug from here, and I decided to reuse this as a, instead instead of wasting this this chunk of material, I uh, retooled the center hole to hold this uh, piece of conduit that I'm using as my steering mechanism here, and um, and drill, drill this hole so it'll go. So it's, it's a little bit loose because from so much steering, it's become loose. But this bolt is gets tight there. Uh, this again will be redone also. I have some scooters that I can take uh, that comes from these, the, the steering columns from the scooters and it would be a much better setup but like I said this is what I had at the time and it's to mainly to prove the concept. So let's look underneath here. You gotta be careful with these things because uh, with a with a with a with a metal like that and an open wheel like that, if you get your finger stuck there, and I just I just got my hand a little stuck there, it hurts. Yeah, you, know, you can you can rip your your finger like that, especially when this is moving. So that's the reason why these scooter uh, these um, hoverboards are covered with uh, plastic covers. So this is also uh, meant to have the plastic covers underneath this board here for for that for safety for the, the reason that I'm explaining here, so that. I don't accidentally, or somebody doesn't accidentally get their fingers caught in there. So be, uh, they'll be done, and, uh, uh, you know, next. But basically, this is the underside of the uh, the control system right here. These are um, 20. I think these are 36 to 48 volt, uh, 350 watt brushless e-bike or electric bike controllers and although these things are a little bit of a chore to uh, uh, find the, the proper connections and by the time you do that you know you've spent a good uh, amount of time just trying to find you know how, how to what, what goes where because they're, they're not labeled labeled in English so you have to figure that out but fortunately there are plenty of videos out there you just have to find the time to go through those videos and uh, make make yourself a uh, schematic which is what I did so as I was saying, this uh, go-kart picks up quite a bit of speed, but I don't have somebody to videotape this uh, run here, but I'm going to try to do it while I'm riding this. So I'm going to have to take it really slow because you know, if you put too much throttle, it, it will move, and you've got to be holding on to something. So I'm going to try to do this with my uh, cell phone camera here. So let's start this machine up. So uh, I still have a little juice here, but not much. Like I said, I don't like to drop this below 37 volts because um, I want to be able to uh, extend the life of the batteries uh, through charges. So here we go. Anyway, I should uh, give uh, my viewers uh, an idea of this go-kart. You can see my legs. I'm 5'11". My legs uh, are not, uh, they're not bent. You know, I can fully extend my legs right over that bar there. And just a little angle on my knees here. So it's, uh, it's pretty comfortable for... for uh, person my size and that's the way I designed this I mean I wanted to be able to sit here as well as uh, allow uh, a younger person to sit here this is not meant for little kids you know because it is a serious uh, it's got some serious power 
with two of these uh, brushless motors and running at 36, almost close to 40 volts. So you, you really pick up speed as I'm doing here. Right, I'm going a little bit faster in this video here. And after this uh, turn, one more, one more, one more loop and I'm going to stop here because my battery is at 36 now. So